Hello, Brickman here, back for the next part to my LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update series. So, without further ado, today I'm going to be talking about the hub worlds and details of gameplay within the hub worlds. So, without further ado, let's get into this. There's said to be a total of 20 explorable planets, which is quite a bit. And these planets are supposed to all be big among their interior, if you could say the interior of a planet, I don't know. And as I pretty much touched on in my previous video, you could use vehicles, spaceships of course, to travel from planet to planet so it's a really massive open world not exactly like something like lego marvel's avengers where you just have to go through a loading screen to get to each location no it's kind of as if it was one big universe which it is supposed to be one will <laughs> galaxy if you will so let's talk about some of these planets i believe so far we have at least 16 out of the 20 confirmed and of course we have tatooine as the biggest one this has a bunch of details like you could go to luke's home you could go to uncle ben's home you could go to jabba's palace of course and other places among Tatooine you know the Moss Eisley district with the cantina and all that so a lot of explorable interiors of course included in this so that's a that's a big one in itself Tatooine as you could expect because it's a major planet among the films but in addition to Tatooine we also have areas such as Geonosis we got Dagobah with a, probably, you know, Yoda's hut interior. There's a specific location there. We have Starkiller Base, and then we also got Coruscant, and also Bespin, which is Cloud City, if you don't know, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. And then you also have Naboo, which might have the underwater place as well, the, the Gungans and all that. Then there's Mustafar, you know, where Anakin fights Obi-Wan and the lava planet, that's a fun place. We got Giant Hole Planet. We got Crate from The Last Jedi. We have the Rebel Base, which I believe is a fun planet. <laughs> this screenshot here shows pretty much Kashyyyk, so that's like just about confirmed. You got Hoth, of course. There's Echo Base Interior. And then Endor was also mentioned. But of course, we couldn't go without Jakku, as well as Canto Bite, which is also from The Last Jedi. You know, that casino planet that kind of dragged down the entire movie's quality. Yeah, that's a fun place, right? So there are all the different locations. And among these locations, you have some pretty dynamic environments. Look at Tatooine, for example. The characters have sand on them, because if you walk around in the sand, you're going to get sand on you. Look at the beautiful lighting among Endor. Really, really something. I don't even know if that's a level or a hub world screenshot. It could be either, but you know, it's cool. So the biggest thing that has been emphasized among the free roam is how if you're flying around in space, probably about to go to a different planet, some suddenly some giant star destroyer could just pop up out of hyperspace with a whole flight of TIE fighters and whatnot. And then you have some big giant space dogfight. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy. You gotta get out of there alive. You gotta fight, you gotta explode the star destroyer. Or this could also even happen on land. It's kind of like random crime fight scenes that happen in superhero games. Like, you could just be walking around in Tatooine and then a big giant crowd of Tusken Raiders, ra varying in their size, that is, can just pop up out of nowhere in the sands and be like, bah, 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 you know, the, the weird noises that they make. Yeah, so you could fight Tusken Raiders on land, or you could fight a bunch of TIE fighters in space. Of course, the types of ships that are in space also can depend on what uh, planet area you are or where you are in the story also, that is. And speaking of the story, the planets that you unlock, of course, go on throughout the story. It depends on how much of the story you play through, then you unlock new areas to explore, which makes sense, as any LEGO game usually would do so that's cool <laughs> there are of course random quests that you're always going to get in the hub world you know people ask for help and then you probably unlock a character or a kyber brick as the new the gold bricks are now and yeah that's pretty much it and you could say this is pretty different from the, the complete saga because now when you play through hub worlds that's getting you in between different levels so you could probably have some somewhat significant scenes from the movie included just briefly in the hub world so the hub world is going to be a big pivotal part of the story of the game so that's all cool right all right what a hub what a world what a <laughs> what a what a game right all right so that's cool that's all i gotta say for the most part about the hubs i hope you enjoyed i hope it was informative and i hope you subscribe and like all right so that all being said thank you very much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe as i pretty much just said and we'll have more lego star wars the skywalker saga news updates to cover the whole rest of the game this is just supposed to be somewhat cumulative until we have more news that is released afterwards so thank you very much for watching. Bye.